Today we're going to paint our design. We're going to use the concept of limited palette, which is just three or four colors instead of using every color on the palette. This is my palette. And so um, I've selected, I'm just going to go with the traditional Isn't It color scheme. I'm going to have white and I'll leave the paper white wherever I need that white. I'm going to use black but mostly I'm just going to use a black marker when it, all the paint is dry to outline things. And I'm going to use blue and green and I will make the blue a little bit lighter to make a turquoise and then some red. So I've got these three colors and then black and white. So to mix a color, if you want to get a nice turquoise, you'll want to get a palette like this and we're going to get a knife and um, this is an actual knife. Some artists use what's called a palette knife, which is shaped a little bit differently, but we're just gonna use a regular old plastic knife. And you always wanna start with the lightest color first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some white out of my palette. And so I'm just gonna scoop a large portion of white into that. And I can kind of wipe that off. And then I wanna have a paper towel handy to wipe off the extra paint so I don't get any into the um, other colors that I want to use. So now I'm going to take just a smidge of green and put it into this. And I'm starting to get the turquoise that I want, but I need that to be a little bit bluer. So I'm going to kind of scrape off the edge there. See how much easier that was to paint to mix that up than with a paintbrush. And then of course I would wipe away. And I'm just gonna get, this is the darkest one, so I'm just gonna kinda dip in there real quick. And that'll be just enough blue to get it the way I want it. And you might have to experiment a little bit. But that's gonna be that nice kinda minty turquoise. And then I can take my paintbrush and I want to use a pretty small paintbrush to get it into these areas here. So I'm going to paint the leaves that nice color there. And notice I use the brush stroke in the direction then that leaf grows rather than filling it in like this. I kind of lighten up my touch as I get to the edge there. And of course, when I need to switch colors, I'm going to wipe, rinse in the water, and wipe again, and I can get my second color. 